What's up you guys? Welcome back to the adventure. So I'm out here at Borrego Spring. I'm next to the scorpion statue right there. So if you guys ever in this area, the Galetta Meadows is really cool. There's a bunch of statues, the famous one being the dragon and a couple other ones around. Uh, so yeah, if you guys ever go in this area, Borrego Spring, yeah, check out those uh, statues, pretty neat. But anyway, I'm out here, we're doing another trail today. So initial plan was that we're gonna go camping. If you guys look in the back, I have all my camping gear. So we were getting ready this week to go. And then uh, my wife woke up with a really bad severe cold. So being six months pregnant, I think her immune system is a little bit down. So she's been catching a lot more uh, cold-like symptom lately. I feel like I'm getting something too in my, my throat. So we'll see if uh, that thing uh, will be anything but for myself. But for her, yeah, she couldn't make it. So unfortunately, camping wise, I might do it myself, depending on the weather. Uh, if it's really windy, then maybe just call a day after this and get back home but uh yeah if not then i might camp for the night and just uh do a long trip today so yeah we're out here doing another trail called lower coyote canyon we've done the upper coyote canyon that was really fun but uh i've been wanting to do the lower one so there's a couple of water crossing look interesting so i'm out here gonna you know explore that trail so we'll take you guys along when we get lunch right now because i'm starving it's around 12 30 12 40 right now and then uh yeah get that uh adventure started let's do it all right, nothing too fancy uh, for lunch. Sandwich, avocado, turkey meat. If you guys ever try this potato chips, ghost pepper potato chip, man, it's really good. Uh, sparkling water and whatnot. But yeah, this thing, Trader Joe's, mm, delicious. Testing out a uh, traction board that was sent out to us called, by Bunker Industry. We've used this for Johnny Taco before. <laughs> So I know it works, but I want to test it out uh, with them on my channel. So we're going to see if we get ourselves stuck. Hopefully not too crazy because I don't have a winch yet. But yeah, and then uh, yeah, go from there. But uh going to get a sandwich started and then uh, get this uh, trail review started, guys. So I'm trying to get to the trailhead and I saw a sign that said close gate ahead. I'm curious to say, see why they're closing the gate. So let's check it out. Yeah, I just talked to somebody that uh, came in from that direction. They say it's open, like the water crossing, they did all that. So we'll see, we'll see how it is. But it's beautiful right now out here. The desert, man, I've never seen Anza or Borrego Spring this green. There's a bunch of cactus flowers and beautiful bloom right now. So. Uh, it's in the 70-ish, so it's not too cold, but it's kind of perfect. All right, let's see what uh, this trail give us, guys. Well, we're here at the closed gate. It's a little parking area here. All right, guys. Yeah, the trail is closed. So I talked to a gentleman who was here, Robert. So Robert, you're watching this uh, video. It's nice chatting with you. Uh, got a little history upon that trail itself. I think they closed because of it got washed out and like the tr the creek itself got uh, routed differently. So now it's like it's all messed up. So that's the furthest we can go. It's nice channel with Robert. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and see about go another area, Fish Creek. It's a trail been there many times. So I'm gonna jet over there. It's like 140 right now. So hopefully I can get there about two o'clock and uh, explore that area. But yeah, unfortunately, it's gonna be a while before this trail opens up. But it was nice to know the history and whatnot. This trail actually used to connect Upper and Lower Coyote, uh, but throughout the years now they close a certain section but this section completely closed all right let's get over to fish creek guys we are here at fish creek road fish creek wash it's kind of funny to think about it. it's the first time i take the four by four out here it's always been the two-wheel drive so it's kind of 
cool to be able to take a 4x4. I did a little detour exploring a couple of uh, BM land. I'll include those uh, drone footage right now.
man it's so beautiful out here right now i love it when like just around dusk uh just the colors and everything on these valleys these rocks are just lighting up wow so pretty i've always i've done this trail but i've never really done it like around this time of the day so it's kind of nice to be able to see all the colors the different uh, rocks and whatnot so yeah i think we're halfway uh to diablo drop off you guys uh know the auto drop off that's the area i'm pretty close by so but man i'm just out here just enjoying it it's so pretty right now man <laughs> definitely recommend if you guys ever get a chance to be out here definitely definitely take advantage of it let's see what else we can see Alright guys, I think that's it for our venture here. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm gonna go camping. Um, just been going around this area and trying to find a, a good camping uh, site. But uh, man, I, I think I'm feeling the, the cold or something coming on. So I think whatever it is that uh, my wife's having, I think it's affecting me. Uh, a few days ago, I was starting to feel not too good, but I figured oh, I'll just go out here anyway when I explore. And yeah, yeah unfortunately, she didn't feel good, so. Yeah, that kind of put a damper on our plan. It is what it is. She is pregnant, so totally understandable. Uh, so I was debating whether I should camp or not out here. I brought all my camping stuff, as you see, but uh, yeah, I'm just not feeling it too good right now. And then uh, she's just by herself at home, so that's another reason. I was like, you know what? I better jet home, so yeah, it's so pretty out here. Yeah, sorry. that. Not going to be an overlanding or camping experience, but it's just cool just to be out here. So if you guys ever get a chance to explore uh, Enzo Borrego, definitely this area, Fish Creek, and there's so much to see out here. So uh, yeah, take advantage of it and just go out here and explore. But man, it's so beautiful right now. I love this time of the day. It's just so quiet and so little breeze. It just feels so good. All right, so you guys like these content, exploring, overlanding-ish, camping, off-roading, whatever it is outdoorsy stuff consider subscribing to the channel and uh yeah i'll catch you guys on the next one take care guys bye